Hey guys, this is Helldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I am on my Warlock again. So, as you can see, um, I am now two bars from, well, a bar from 109. After I did my um, stream yesterday, I just played a little bit more, uh, a little bit throughout the day. An hour here, hour there, and... Um, in the course of a day, it went from 98 to 108. Uh, I went and I finished out Stormheim. As you can see, I've completed all the chapters. I finished everything that was out there. The only thing I didn't do was this little area here and this area here. I didn't do the little Mickey Mouse quests over here that were just the side quests, all that stuff. I did all the story progression stuff. Now, that took me 10 levels. So, if you came out here, you're allowed to come out here at 98. I was not expecting that. Um, I think I said that yesterday. So I went to Azuna because I am at the point in my um, story, my Warlock campaign story, that I actually have to meet somebody out here. And they're over here. So what I was going to do was, is I was just going to go and record the rest of my leveling. Now... This is the time right now, Eastern Standard Time. So we'll call it 4 o'clock, 4.02, 4 o'clock, whatever you want to say. This goes back to another video that I made a few days ago about people putting the value on um, heirloom gear and should you should you get it, shouldn't you get it, on and on and on. It, it really is worth your time to go and get it. Now, granted, uh, I've played a little bit more maybe than the average person would have time to play, but the fact of the matter is is that it's definitely worth your while to get the gear and to just get it up to max level. Now I will show you as soon as I'm done fighting here what exactly it is I'm working with. As soon as I can kill everything, which looks like it's... I should probably move everybody over so that they don't get hit by splash and I don't just keep pulling stuff. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now, I'm going to retreat. As this is not my problem. I have what I need. Alright, we got to ignite the wards. Well, I'll turn this in. Uh, okay. So, this is what we got. I've upgraded a pile of gear, with the exception of uh, the main pieces that I've been wearing. That stuff. Now... I did go and replace the, the the heirloom trinkets because I didn't buy the stuff to um, go ahead and continue to upgrade them. They they were stuck at whatever level they, level they were going to be at, and I was close enough that I didn't feel like going and getting um, the things to upgrade them. I'll probably do it for my other tunes that I'm going to level, but... Um, and I did re finally replace my two rings that I had bought, and those were just recently replaced. So... With that said and done, this is basically what it is. Um, it's not that hard to level. I thought by some of the tears everybody was crying on forums that they had somehow made this harder, that this was going to be a pain in the butt, that, oh my god, it was going to drag it out. And no. Just listen to what I'm saying and get the heirloom gear. The heirloom gear makes this so much easier because you're still getting that 45%. And I've been saying that over and over again to, Im to impress you to just go get the gear. 
Yes, it's going to cost a little bit of gold to upgrade it. Yes, gold is fairly easy to get. No, you don't have to live in the computer and in your mom's basement to get all that stuff so that you can upgrade your gear. Just play the game. Now, I have been working on herbing and I have been working on my skinning and that's been kind of coming along kind of nicely. It has definitely added to the leveling experience. Now, skinning, the only XP you get from skinning is from killing the initial mob. So, as far as that's concerned, it contributes really to your gold. It doesn't really contribute to only gold, or to uh, experience, whereas um, herbing will contribute to XP and gold. So, leather for the auction house, and you get the XP from the kill. Herbs, you get the XP from picking them, and the gold from selling them in the auction house, or making drinks, whatever that may be, whatever you want to do with them. But you're still going to make gold off of them. Now, again, this, this, this really is not significantly as hard as people are making it out to be. Um... It's really what, how you want to play the game. I don't, um... I don't really know what to say other than that. Now, I'm just going to record me playing, um... Just getting to 110. Now, I did play about four LFRs and about eight Battlegrounds. So, there is that... And that contributed. Uh, there is very minimal XP. Um, I did get a little bit of XP from my order hall because when you do the um, order hall, you can get the uh, the little XP tokens, and that was worth about 11k when I burned it at 10. I want to say six. Now the other thing that I am going to go do. Um, because I was watching the World Cup, um, and France incidentally won one nothing against Belgium, is I'm going to finish this quest, I'm going to go turn it in, but I want to show you the value of doing the invasions. Now, you can't get on the ship to go finish it off to get the end boss, but what you can do is run around and just do the spot invasion points on the map. Now, why would you want to do that? Well... I'm going to show you in just one second as soon as I kill this guy. The first reason without looking is, is that until you're 110, it does drop XP and uh, it will drop the order resources. Now, these are all good things to have happen and there's really no reason why you shouldn't do them. Uh, 779, I'll probably take that ring. Alright, oh, and it upgraded. Alright, put that guy on. That's, alright, that's one of my garbage bags. Um, okay. So I'll grab this. Alright, so there is, there was one going on, it's not here anymore. Okay, so that's my bad. Um, I wasn't sure what the timer on it was. But when I had looked at it earlier, it was all XP. So, I can tell you from doing just the XP ones, you do rock it up pretty fast. Um, if you can get lucky enough, there's still people doing them. So, even though you're low level, you'll still be able to have help doing stuff, you know, getting them done. It's not, you know... A total shit show of you going face down on a raw deal, you know, because you decided to go do them. So you can go get help, and honestly, it's really not that, like I have said over and over and over again, it is not that big of a deal. You will still get some XP for them, you'll still be able to do your thing, and one of the things that has definitely helped are these little bonus objective things. If you're in a zone, do them. Now, what you could also do is, is fly around like a madman, and just run around the zones doing them. There's really no reason not to. Um, as I said, I just closed out Stormheim. I did the main, the, the chapter stories, and that was the end of that. But you just have to find your way. 
there's tons of little tricks and trinkets that you can pull off to get the job done. It's really not as bad as, you know, some people will make it out to be. Um, you will still get, you'll get quest rewards that you'll actually be able to put on for a level still. That, you know, a green will replace an epic or something along those lines. It just, you know, how hard do you want to play the game? What do you want to do? How much time do you want to put in? I'm sure that if you just want to skim it and just pick certain quests and go to another place, that's fine. But I'm telling you that the, the best thing that you can do is is pick a zone and finish it out. You're going to get the best reward. It's going to it's going to look it's going to make you look and feel a little bit better getting, you know, it's going to feel like a grind, but you're still going to get the time in and you're going to get the job done. So, um like I said, I'm just going to do uh do this last level to show you how quick it actually is. Now I do understand I have a, I have a pet, so I have something tanking for me. So something like, you know, a warrior or a mage, unless you're ice. Um, some of the other classes that don't have pets, yeah, it's gonna probably take you a little bit longer. But one of the other things that you should do is get in there, get your quests done and do your thing and get one of your companions to come out with you that is also really key you're not you know you're not having to shoulder the burden of everything all on your own to you know try and survive causing stress to yourself you know it, it starts to, you know you start to doubt it and not want to do it and then when you're trying to do something that you really don't want to do but you then you feel like you have to do that's when it's going to feel like crap, and you're going to start looking for ways to cheese the system. Just make it easier for yourself. That's all I can tell you. For any new players or, or you know people that start to feel like that, just do what you have to do for yourself to make to make it extremely easy and comfortable, as easy and comfortable as it can be. Now, I will admit, having a Warlock, being Affliction, and leveling as um, Destro, it's definitely easier having the seeds um, and splitting them off like that. You know, taking the talent to split them. It definitely makes things a whole hell of a lot easier. Um, I don't know if it's on the level that they have a distinct advantage over other Warlocks, but I have not played uh, Demonology. I don't want to. I don't... I don't know. I just don't find it as entertaining. It's changed a lot. You know, people have asked me why I don't want to. I just don't want to. It's just a personal choice. It just whatever... You know, I've been saying it over and over. Just play the way that you want to play and don't worry about what somebody else can tell you or you know what someone else is going to suggest everything is different for every single person it's just how do you want to do it if you want to be told what to do then you're going to have to deal with whatever failures or, or difficulties come along so uh, try different things and one thing i will say is is that you should pvp I realize the XP isn't as great, but there's one thing that, I, in my opinion, that I learned early on, even in vanilla, was you learn to how to really play your tune and how to use the, the right time to use certain abilities under stress. And it's a little bit different than learning it while you're in the middle of a raid and you're going to fail on a boss. 
PvP, there really is no failure unless you want to listen to all, all, all the QQers and all of them, which I find highly entertaining. But after a while, they can start to get on your nerves a touch. So just play. I mean, sometimes jump into a shitty situation and see what happens. See if you can, if you have the, the skill or, or you can figure out an ability that maybe you didn't understand or, or know what it was used for. It, it, it's all about learning at your speed and learning how you want to play the game, like I've been saying. So I would suggest definitely PvP. XP, like I did in the last video, was about 2 to 1 as compared to LFGs. But learning under stress instead of being run through an instance, I think, is a lot more valuable. So there's also that. I don't think I've mentioned that before, and I wanted to, but I always forgot. Oh, yeah, there's that guy. And definitely do these stars. Do the um, the rare spawns. Like, anytime you do this stuff, it's just going to be extra XP. It's going to be drops. It's going to be resources. So definitely don't, you know, cut yourself short from doing these guys. Because it's it is it is important, I think. And as an Affliction Lock, the last talent that you can pick, I took Siphon Soul for PvP and for out-leveling. Um, I think it's kind of important because when you're out running around, it, it it's one more thing you have to add into your rotation. And if you're a rotation whore, meaning you, know, you want a strict rotation, you want to put this up when you have to and that up when you have to and on and on and on, it's just a little something extra. If you take the time to throw an extra dot and manage it, it's a pile of life that you can gain. And under a different circumstance when you might die, you don't die because you had a bunch of things dotted up and you got an extra little bit of life and it, it pushed you over the edge to be able to stay alive. So there's always that. Um, and there's talents that are you, you're going to take for PvP or for leveling or for rating so there's also that so you have to be you know conscious of what what it is you're taking and what it does because there is passive stuff and there is stuff that you have to babysit so They really stinge with some of this. Some of the percentage points of some of this stuff. God. I should just respawn my pet. Hey, look, I finally completed it. Yay! Alright, so where are we off to now? We are off to find Stelagosa. Now, normally you'd have to be running through all of this business before you could have flying, so... Keep that in mind that if you have flying, it's easier to just get around, and that saves you a pile of time and not having to do a bunch of randomness fight mobs that you really don't need. That do turn into XP, but still, it's a pain in the ass. Okay. 
Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Gonna sell for more. We will finish this business together. Oh. All right, let's finish this business. Can we finish this business now? How about now? How about now? Maybe now. Right now. And now. There it is. Mm -mm, nope. Okay, so while we're sitting here waiting, there is something here. I'm going to probably fly straight out to here next to screw with them to get that business. Oh my god, will you shut up and let's go. Oh, have you? No, you're not. Yeah, well, guess what? They lied. Let's, uh, let's get it going, then. Okay, so... Neither one of them are very... I'll go with that guy. That's the first one, yep. Okay, so I'm going to learn that. Um, I'll put that guy in. Alright, let's get out there. Let's get it going. Actually, I want to get over here. And do this before it gets to be too late. Did the one that was out there yesterday. Yeah, the invasion was there yesterday. And I got a bunch of stuff out of there. I got like almost two levels just doing the invasion. Oh, I know who you are.
And there we go. That got us 16%. So, when you have these little quests, these bonus objectives, go after those guys. It's definitely worth it. So I can say that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a zoom and I'm going to be I'm going to stay out here. Uh, I know the first one's over here. Hello, buddy. Excuse me. Oh, doorway, please raise room. Is it in here? No, it's down low. Alright. Yep, there it is. Nope. Well, we'll let him go. Since we're here. And that was good for 4%. So that's always a good percentage right there. It's kind of nice because there's nobody here. So you can get, you know, whatever quest you want to get done, done. And these big guys are definitely worth it. Go ahead, pull her in. Yeah, I know, you're going to drown me or whatever the hell it is you're going to do. I know. We'll just drop a little party with him. Throw some more of this out there. Get some of that going on. Oh, get in there. Oh, don't be getting mad at me. And boom goes the dynamite. Got a couple of glyphs. And we're already a pretty high percentage up there. Very good. Oh no, we'll come to you, don't worry. Hi, big boy. Throw a little refresh on her. Very convenient she decided to die like that, right and send the bot set the bomb off. And got all the glyphs, and we are working on this little guy right here. All right. Just watch them rot. All right. Be like that then. And there we go. 70k. 200 resources. That's a good day. So we'll go turn these two guys in real quick like.
Use the orb to determine the location. Now, will I get anything b beneficial out of this? No, but it is 19 gold, and you're just using the thingy. But you can't, can't, you can't cancel. You can't skip it like you can some of the other ones, which is whatever to me. I don't. They're just gonna have circles on the map anyway, so just in case you can't read the circle, I don't know. All right, cool. Now we do have Captain Happy Pants up here. Oh, seriously? Come on. There you go. Just let it burn your skin away. Throw one of these on him. That'll help get her down a little bit. Since she's getting a little out of hand over there, casting all that shit. There we go. Another little 70 resources for the fire. And since we're here, yeah, I'll just go do, just go set them free. So we got this guy over here. Yeah, I'll let him do the work. He can do the heavy lifting on this. And we'll come in, uh, you know. With the timely tag. And, uh, oh no, no need for you to do that. No, 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 no need for that. No, 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 no. See, now you're doing a bunch of stuff. See, now he's dead. He deserved that because, uh, you know, you can do the heavy lifting, buddy. You're doing a great job. All right. All right. get our stuff. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Alright. What's that look like? We've got one that looks like that already. Uh... I'm a sucker for appearances. Alright. So, we're going to go over here to disrupt the heat coil camp. The only thing I'm going to go over here to get her business all taken care of. I know we got to run around and do some goofiness for her. Now, we're 33 minutes in. And we're already that far. And I have not been, you know, I've been constantly, you know, keep it moving. I like to, uh, I like to stay busy. Don't like to really mess around, you know. By this time, if you don't know the quest, you're playing the game totally wrong and shouldn't be playing at all. Uh, you're not important. All right. Well, we got a we got a few of them, so we're gonna have to go ahead and do some of that business. Get him back in the game. Get one of these made up. 
Get some emergency life. Eat one of them. Alright, so. Got almost four gold. Don't want to mess with these guys since they're, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of up there. Alright, look at that. All that dipping and diving got us 42%. Alright, thanks for dying. Now, there is another rare spawn out here. Boom goes the dynamite. We're at 74. Say hello to these little jerks. Thanks for playing. Oh, we got a little, uh, little chop chop there. And that's the one nice thing about the Seed of Corruption, is when it blows up, it puts corruption on everything. It didn't used to not do that. It was just, you know, a nice little time bomb you put on everybody. Okay, so, we're 98%. I've been partying my way through the, uh, through the yard here, so we're going to call this guy up. I don't think these ones give X or give credit towards tipping the scales. But we'll find out. Or tip the scales, however you want to say. English is hard sometimes. I, I doth stand against you, yes. Get Mickey Mouse in here. And that's that. So, he counts towards it. Just keep that in mind. Plus another 70 resources. Having a great time here. Doing our thing. And we are uh, four and three quarters bars away from 110. Oh. Gotta get that XP. Hello, buddy. Oh, looky there. Now, because it is so late in the expansion, it's really kind of up to what you want to do. If you want to just bang around on the gear that you've got, hit LFRs, do your thing like this, or actually try to get into raids, that's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, okay, we got to go get her... Yeah, we, do, we got some goofy ass running around for her. Um... Personally, I'm going to work on my other two guys, get them to 110. Then I'm going to worry about uh, what's going to be happening because I know that I'll be able to at least run around in BFA when I decide to level these guys. These guys being my third tier guys. Um, I just wanted to level some of the new classes to see how they played and where they'd fit into the rotation, the leveling. Uh, because I do like raiding on different tunes. I like you know doing different stuff. I like staying busy. And she just got her teeth kicked in, so we're going to have to wait for her to respawn. Uh, so I'll go ahead and burn that up. Go ahead and throw that up there. Yeah, these are going to be crapola soon. 
Not the crap all right now. Just don't tell him I said that. Uh, okay. Yep, you can go up there. So three bags of stuff to sell, I believe. Oh, no. Nope, not all three bags. Part of this has to... Really? You didn't learn the first time? Got what we needed out of her. Served a purpose. Let's roll out. Okay, so some of this stuff actually is. Yeah, there it is. So there's the divider for that. Oh, actually. Alright, that's a little muddled. I'll have to rework that. Alright, so where are we going now? Let the feed the blood on the blood of demons. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, she does not feast on fish and cakes. It hungers for blood. There's an infestation demons right over yonder way. Now, what you can do with this is I believe that there were some quests over here that you could pick up. Yeah, so... I didn't know this at the time, so, of course, I'm running around like a madman, just doing stuff all nimbly-bimbly. Uh, yeah, you looked... Uh, main portal scouted... Yeah, see, you gotta... Okay, so to really kind of get the efficiency out of all of this, you gotta run around with this here like a so... Um, what this is going to do is after you get this done, it unlocks the quests. Now, <clears throat> the reason that I'm doing this is because why do two things when you just have to do them once? That being, um, get this guy done, a uh, little bit of an inconvenience, but then go and uh, get your warlock companion's quest done while you're doing uh, the quests that are actually physically over here. Oh, found him. Alright, there we go. Oh, go away. Nope, 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 nope. None of that business. Oh, no. Really, dude? Oh. Okay, so ready for turning. Let's drop this guy like a bad habit. And we'll get this over here like so. Yep, and there we go. So slay him. So he he should count. Uh, slay demons. Just slay him. Slay them all. Kill them all and let God sort them out. So let's get going here. All right, we got cookies. Got chow. I'm going to go whoop some ass. Whip his ass, you best. Let's go. And down you go. Okay, so I don't have a bloodstone on me. It's just... Maybe not. Okay, as you can see, getting credit for killing demons. And getting blood on the stone. Why pick up the same rock twice? Alright, we'll call. 
call back Captain Fuzzy. Now, as you can see, three bars. So that XP is going down fast. Whacked out the uh, that set of stabilizers. Now we're going to come over here and make friends with these lovely specimens of demons. Down you go. Oh, look. Another quest guy. Okay, we'll put that on. Take a little cookie break. Oh, this is bad. All about that multitasking. All right, we got him dead in the dirt. Bloodstone's coming along nicely. Need a couple more demons. All right, boom goes the dynamite. Uh, which one didn't I sabotage? What's happening here? All right, so we got 10 to 10. We just got to grab out a whack out a couple more stabilizers, and I need a couple of more. What ones didn't I do? Ah. Boom goes the dynamite. All right, so we just need. So yeah, there's some stuff here that bloodstone's definitely going to be full. Ooh, big spells. Aw, you died. What happened? Well, look at you go. Swinging that axe like you got a purpose, boy. Alright, so that's that. There is a little surprise back in here that I remember. Okay, or not, whatever. You know, whatever you want to do. Alright, you can be a jerk. So I'm going to turn these in, get the next ones here, then go turn in this bloodstone, get that bloodstone taken care of. Okay, complete quest. So, 779 ring, 779 ring. Um... Plus 100 artifact power. Okay, um... Oh, neck finger? Eh... I don't want the ring. Alright. So, that's going to bring us that much closer, and we're within the last bar. So... This is going to probably push us over the edge. So, it's been fun leveling. Uh, there you are, Cupcake. Alright. Yep. Boom goes the dynamite. 110. So, um, yeah. That's that. Um, and exactly almost 50 minutes. So, 49 minutes. And, uh, yeah. I am 110 now. So, that has been that. Um, I'm just going to run around doing some fun stuff now. 
get this business taken care of. Okay, got him uh, whacked out all real nice like. Speak to... Okay, well he's with me so we can just talk to him right now. Uh, buddy. Hello. Okay, so apparently... Uh, hold on, I want to make sure... Speak to Archmage. Is that what this one was? Okay, I'm having a brain fart right now, so I'm going to go ahead... Yeah, I'm going to guess that I'm going to have to go back to my my little choppy there. Yep, you have to go back. Okay. So that's how it's done. 49 minutes. Full t uh, heirloom gear. Even on our talent. Um, go away. Okay, so we're going to take that guy. Uh, in the night hold. Okay, sounds like fun. Meet Arcanist at the night hold. Okay, sounds like fun. Oh, shh, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Okay, so we got something to turn in over meow. Over your meow. Yep, okay. So more fun like that. Uh, unlock all traits on uh, your... Okay, good. Hmm? Okay, thank you. Yes? Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. Okay, so that's Chromie up there. I never did it. I was never into the whole Chromie thing. I thought that it was just another time waste, if that makes any sense at all. Um, I don't know. I never got down with it. Okay, we got some uh, chop going on here. Training the troops. Oh, I'm training him like a madman. What does it do? Okay. All right. All right, buddy. Enter the demon world and rescue the missing council member. Okay, so... 1.8 billion. So that's going to be a good time. So I'm going to go over to the, to the yield table here real quick, like... Um, see what we got popping. Okay, so that went up to a whole pile of fun. So I'm going to... Um, I'll assign him. We've done pretty good on getting a bunch of that business going. So I'm going to send them out. I have a low, low, low chance of actually getting the bonus on that one, which is fine. Uh, I can't seem to figure it out. I've maxed out. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. It's this guy over here. Okay, so... I don't know if I ever bought that. Ooh, look at Snappy. Unfortunately, that's probably a decent item that'll compared to what I'm wearing. Yeah, it's 840. So, damn it. Alright, I'll worry about that later. Um, sure. Let's do it. So yeah, I'll just record this. What the hell? I don't have anything else better to do. Um,
Okay. So I got a whole bunch of stuff in the mailbox from all kinds of nice people. Oh, hi, Cupcake. Uh, do I want to deal with you? You know what? You're a demon. I'm just going to whoop your ass. Boy, I'm wondering if I should have messed with her. I'm kind of thinking I shouldn't have. Well, Captain Happy is kind of dealing with her. He's not really taking any damage. Okay, now he's taking a little bit. Oh, I let it fall off. Shit. If I have to come back to kill her, I'm going to be pissed if she respawns. Well, I was thinking about going and getting dinner. Uh, maybe she'll be dead by the time I come back, I don't know. get bombs out. And bombs. All right, no, she's, she's, she's going down. She's going to go sleepy, sleepy. Alright, so yeah, I'm probably going to have to go back to kill her, but, well, I do love doing things the hard way. Hey, Cupcake. Yeah, somebody's coming from that way, so...
Alright. Daring rescue. Ready for turn. I gotta make my way all the way someplace. What the hell is this all about now? Yeah, I guess I really didn't need to go fight her. Oh well. It was a demon. Whatever. And boom goes the dynamite. And they didn't upgrade, that's sad. Okay, empower the soul. Complete the power of soul shows by completing the class hall missions. Okay, go over yonder way. Okay, so I guess I'll wrap this up. Um... Uh, I'm not choosing a second artifact to go do. I've had enough of that business. Speak to Recruiter Jared. Where is he at? He's over... Oh, alright, so I can start recruiting these guys. So this has been Helldozer for Zombieland Gaming. Um, you saw it in 49 minutes. We wound up getting business taken care of and getting that all done. So, that was kind of impressive. Um... I just wanted to make this video and show what it's like, what my experience was going to be like. Like I said, I wanted to, um, I don't know, just some videos, like I've said, have uh, kind of been misleading and I really didn't like them. So I, I, I wanted no BS, no mumbo jumbo, no Mickey Mouse talk. I just wanted to show you guys what could be done, what, you know, what you can do on your own. And uh, hopefully I helped a little bit and uh, made some choices easier for uh, somebody that's having a hard time making said choices. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again later.